Hey guys, Nuxan here, and I'm excited here. We finally get our first look at Rooster Teeth's upcoming animation called Genlock, the mech show of Rooster Teeth. Oh, I could not be any more excited here. They announced it's going to be on January here. They've been releasing, you know, we had some uh, Twitter feeds, some, like, get to know these characters here, the cast and everything. It's very interesting here, the fact that they've got David Tennant. They got Michael B. Jordan, which makes me wonder, it's like, aren't you making Creed 2 right now, man? How do you find the time to... How did Rooster Teeth find the time to get him? Hey, yeah, can you take your time off Creed 2 to voice this character here in our upcoming show? It's like, what? And Mo Monica Riel, Jeez, which, if you guys don't know who Monica Riel is, I don't know how, uh, I believe she did the, one of the voices in Patty and Stocking with Garbelt. So, that's something. All right, right. Now, uh, the description here reads, The newest Genlock recruits have arrived at the Vanguard military base, dubbed the Anvil, and are ready to settle in. That is, until Dr. Weller, obviously the doctor, uh, explains there's a few more tests to endure before they're fully accepted into the program. So you went to the store for the team when Genlock premieres January 26, 2019, only on Rooster Team. Okay, so basically, from what we're saying here, because we know that Rooster Teeth makes those little trailers and stuff like that all canon. Those guys, they've, that's all essentially been practice and everything. And this, is, and this show, the first episode will essentially be the final test. That's what I think. Let's just watch this. All right, show me the mech. I really, I really hope they manage to improve the mechs because I do not want them to look like something out of Battletech. Don't want that. No. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wow. The animation. It's amazing how they can juggle so many, so many different styles. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. The emotion of that. That, that would. Uh, okay. Go back. Go back a minute. Though. Let me see that. I'm sorry. Let me. Yeah, that motion right there with a the girl who was sitting back down looked a little stiff. I, yeah. Sorry, I could not help but note. I, I noticed that. That's something. Miss McCloud. Edison? Miss Roma... Roma Nizzard? <laughs> uh, ah, Valentina. Valentina. I like her. Special already. Special Sinclair, welcome to the <laughs> Anvil. So good to finally meet you all in person. That's a hell of a way to say hello. That's nothing. Wait till you see what he does to you next. Oh! Are you joking? He yeah. Wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. Stow your gear in the hangar. Oh, yeah. Kiosk, okay. Don't we get bunks? Not if you're not staying. Okay, everyone who can came what's up with the mad scientist here, say I. Uh, I. <laughs> oh, you? Yes. Uh, I. <laughs> really, dude? I Military. Apologies. On behalf of the ESU, thank you for all your time thus far testing for our program, but you're not done. Not quite yet. But we passed. You advanced to the finals, but uh. there are some things we can only know if we deal with each other eye to eye. If it doesn't <laughs> work out, you'll be on your way home oh, next uh. transport. Home, says he. To be here, so some of us were sent halfway around the world. And we just got off the plane. Mind if we refresh first? Each minute we waste here is another minute before you meet your future. Go okay, on, yeah, the Adam. And I'll collect you shortly. Did he say suit up? He's like yeah. a kid on Christmas morning. Which makes us what? His new puppies? You're it, the new yeah. lab rats. Lab rats. It's cool. Once you get to know her, she's... Nah, she's pretty much the same. Yeah, okay. I like how this guy just speaks Japanese. <laughs> okay, here we are. Wow, damn. They are from, they are, might as well be from Baltech. The suits actually remind me. Okay, yeah. The, hmm. oh. Damn it. 
Uh, sorry, people. Go away. Oh, crap. And this, okay, Rooster Teeth, you need to have fine. I, I, that should, this should not. Rooster Teeth, you should, you should really make it so we can not have to face this. Can I get in the way? Like, big time? Oh, cr cry out loud. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Get rid of that! Oh, boy. You know, Rooster Teeth, I miss a function you had in your old player where you can just turn, make sure this doesn't happen. Just saying. Like, really, look, look at this. It goes right through the player. So, yeah, this video is also a criticism about your new player. I'm sorry, but it is. We try that again. Should make this should not be an issue. I'm trying to. All right, let me see here. We got that's the auto. Eh, there's no damn settings here. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. So we have to deal with that. So anyhow, yeah, we we got Genlock here already. I can see from this from this small uh, preview here, this first look. It's still very much a work in progress. The character designs, they all, I mean, the character, the background, everything looks great. Except their movements look a little bit on the stiff side here. And I noticed that. I, I can normally, like, just, these kind of details normally... Uh, fly over me. So the fact that I notice this, uh, it just shows. It really speaks volumes. Uh, that's too bad. I mean, yeah. I mean, again, they'll 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 iron this out here. Mm, fix up any problems, anything like that. So next, the first uh, final product. It'll be perfect. It'll be seamless. It'll be more. The movement movement will be far more fluid. That's that's no no doubt. Now let's get back here to where they showed. Um... Okay, you know I gotta admit their um, infantry armor here. It actually reminds me of what I saw of that canceled Command and Conquer Tiberium first person shooter. How the uh, spectral op suits look like it it kind of has that feel that's cool I mean it, I would I really wanted to play that game um but yeah like this exo suit okay it reminds me I can't quite put my finger on it I'm sure I'm sure it'll come back come to me once I see this suit in the show and everything see it clearly but it's a pretty cool looking suit. Okay, let's take a look right here. Yeah, here we got the mechs. The, the face, obviously, complete with the little goatee. It's clearly they're taking a page from Gundam. It's awesome. But the more utilitarian design, mm, yeah, it definitely looks a bit more almost like, I wouldn't say battle, not battle tech, but the battle tech elements, yes. And might be actually a bit more like pat labor. But I can't help but, but look at this and think, oh, wow, it's like, uh, w w will I see Django from Burst Angel in the future here? I'm not against that. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that's cool. But, yeah, I can see those designs. You got planes and, yeah, okay. These are the standard models, which, looking at it right now, they actually look more like the Deathbringers from Horizon Zero Dawn, the Kopesh, the Kopesh Walkers, only two-legged instead of four. All right. I'm guessing that woman, of course, was the uh, commander that he, we constantly hear in the transmissions. All right. Okay, so I guess that's the enemy mech right here. Six-legged. If I would have known any better, I'd say this was this was like an evolution of the Soviets, 
like Walker Max from from Red Alert two and three. Yeah, we got soldiers. Well, we got these guys here, which I'm gonna assume they're like the rival characters in a way. Like they're with the uh, standard military. They don't really like this new program, and everything like that. Because they're always gonna be a rival in the same unit. Okay, so those are drones. If, whoa, wait, 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 what the heck? Wait, let me see that again. Okay, yeah, she kicked that, of course. Uh, sorry. Okay, let's just kick that. Oh, nice catch. Got, she got the spare magazine. That was fluid. Okay, and we see right here in this, from this uh, poster right here. Obviously, the one with the, like, Buddy or fa I think yeah, I could call them bunny ears. Is the Scottish girl here? This the the orange one, the yellow one here, which looks very Japanese. I'm gonna assume it's a Japanese. It's the Japanese guy, right? This guy right here. Uh, obviously the vi the violet purple one here. Yeah, and this girl this girl's Russian, right? I mean, she's supposed to be Russian if I'm right. And we got the. Now you know what I, I might. Uh, it's because this um this is this isn't way here, like so I can't see this, the red one here, but I'm assuming it has to look more like a Japanese Oni. So it could actually be the Japanese one. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Either way it looks cool here. We got obviously this weird character right on top here. Who from the like like Smile, but we don't see any like lips or anything like that. I'm assuming that's a bad guy. Hmm. Overall, um, I hope this is extraordinarily good. <laughs> I okay. Uh, Lucha Teeth has already got me sold with the fact that they're making a mech show, and they have indeed shown us that they can make very good mech designs with many of the Elysian robots they we've seen in Ruby. So, I, I'm thankful. I, I am thankful here. I want to know what they're going to design here. If they want any advice, call, they can call me. I can give them a few ideas here and there. <laughs> After all, uh, who knows? I've traveled a lot. I know quite a few about mechs. I mean, I can even mention a few that may have slipped out of memory. But, again, I'd, I'd like to remind you all that I haven't visited. I haven't visited all of them. It's just so many and so much time, so much time on my hands. So yeah, well, I I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, Luke. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm tongue twisting myself big time here. It's late, people. Sorry about this. The point is, I'm excited. I can't wait, and I can't wait to visit this place when I get the chance. So everyone. Thank you all for watching. As always, comment down below what you all thought. Like and subscribe for more videos. Until the next one, this is Mekasan, logging out.